this is Joe Truesdale, president of 101 Firearms. This weekend I've got a uh, state championship for IDPA, so figured I'd come out, knock a little bit of the dust off, and uh, practice a few drills. One of the things I know about myself is my reloads are a little slow, so I want to always improve my reloads. Another thing that I need to work on, and probably everyone needs to work on, is uh, support side shooting. So I'm going to show you a couple drills that are going to help with that. The first one is what I call a shoot two drill. I'll have my gun loaded with one round, I'll draw, I'll fire, I'll reload, I'll fire using my competition timer so I can keep track of how I'm doing. I do this from a relatively close distance of about five yards so I kinesthetically can align my sights with the target um, and I'm really working on the manipulation of the gun at this point. I still want to have good hits uh, but manipulation is the most important thing. So I'll run through an entire magazine of uh, the shoot two drill. I start with my gun with one round in with an empty magazine. Uh, on the buzzer, I'll draw a fire, I'll make a hole in the gun, fill the hole, close the top of the gun, fire the second round. Have a look at what I did as far as my target and then my timer, and then I'll go ahead, take that mag out, insert an empty magazine, and then I'll be all set up to go again. Okay, so that time I had a draw of uh, 1.09 and my reload was 156. So uh, not too bad, but like I said, my reloads are a little slow. My reload should be down around one second at this distance with good manipulation. I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm working on it. So I'm going to set this up again. I'll take that magazine out. I still have a round in the chamber, safely holster my gun, and then I'm able to pick up my empty magazine, dust it off a little bit, back in the gun, and I'm all set up. Consistency on the draw, 106 on the draw, and a 147, and my group was literally that tight, center mass of the target. So this is the extra, two to the body, two to the head, two to the body, two to the head. The targets are of different size, even though they're the same distance. And so when I go to the body, kinesthetically, I can align my sights on the target, guns at the end of my arms, hammer the trigger. Now when I move to the head, the target is much smaller, so I need to be more precise. I need to be using my sights, and I need to have a more precise trigger press. If I use the same trigger press all the way through, I'm either going too slow or I'm going to end up missing the smaller target. Okay, so that felt pretty good and, and it was a clean run. And so we got uh, 318 as the total time. First shot came at 115. Second shot came 14 hundredths of a second later and that was to the body moving over to the head. Uh, it took me 45 hundredths of a second to cross to the head and then 32 hundredths of a second for the second shot on the head because I needed to use my sights and have a more precise trigger press. Now moving down to the body to a target that that I couldn't see because my gun was obscuring it, it takes me a moment longer to find that and so that was 30 hundredths of a second. My follow-up shot there was 1700 traveling over to the head. We've got 38 hundredths of a second and then a 27 hundredths right there. So it was uh, you know a pretty decent run. Okay, so another drill, and this helps me work on my support side hand and my strong hand only manipulation. It's going to be the X drill, but I call it the triple X drill. So I'm going to draw and fire freestyle, two to the body, two to the head, two to the body, two to the head, perform a slide lock reload, transition to strong hand only, two to the body, two to the head, two to the body, two to the head, perform another reload, transition to my support side hand, and then two to the body, two to the head, two to the body, two to the head. You'll hear definitely a difference in the cadence between being freestyle and support side because I don't have as much stability on the gun. My recoil control isn't as good. And unfortunately, you'll hear even another difference when I transition to support side. That's something that I want to work out. I don't want to have a weak side. So I need to improve my support side shooting.
Hey, that was a pretty good run. Uh, end up being 14.10. 14.10, and we, so we can take a look at the timer here. And I had uh, 125 on the first shot. Second shot came at 1600 to the body, transitioning over the head. Took 41 with the 31. Down to the body was a 26 with a 15. That was pretty nice. Cutting over to the next head was a 38 with a 29. Then my reload was 190. I don't know why. I was doing one and a half before, but psychologically, I'm probably taking a couple moments to think about all the next things I need to do. I need to work that down. So it took me a 190 to fire the first shot strong hand on target left. Second shot came at 3500. Cadence is definitely changing. Moving over to the head took me 54 with a 37. Moving down to the body took me 32 with a 27. Transitioning over to the head was a 49 with a 34. Now my reload, this is definitely gonna be longer because it's a reload than a transition, and that took 231. You know, honestly, most people would be pretty happy with a two-handed uh, freestyle 231 reload, but I'm not. So the next shot to target left took 4700s. Big difference. We were in the 30s and 20s on the second shot with strong hand. Transitioning over to the head, it took me 82. Definitely some stability issues. And then a 49 going down to the body was a 46 with a 50. That second shot on the body, there must have been some sight picture delay there. And then transitioning over to the head was a 78 with a 48. And so we end up with 1410. Pretty happy with that. And I'm taking a look at the target. And uh, on the USPSA targets, it's all alpha Baker in the head and then all alpha on the body. And then over here on this target, the head is, uh, is all alpha Baker, so that's great. And then on the body, I've got one in the Charlie, but if this was an IDPA target with the uh, large center scoring zone, those would have been uh, down to zero. So uh, pretty happy with that. Um, I prefer to train with the USPSA targets because they, they cause me to focus for more precision. Uh, when I transition to an IDPA target, it's got a larger scoring zone uh, and just makes it a little easier, especially when I'm doing designated headshots and I'm putting in the alpha on the USPSA okay, target. so that's it for today. Uh, wish me luck. I'm off to the uh, Idaho State Championship for IDPA this coming weekend. A couple weeks after that, I've got the California Championship. I do practice on the range, but I'll tell you what, I spend a lot more time practicing dry. And, uh, you know, the entire time I'll be driving off to, uh, uh, to Idaho this coming weekend, I'll have a disassembled uh, MMP in my hand and I'll be practicing trigger presses as I'm driving along. Uh, I'll be practicing strong hand trigger presses, I'll be practicing support side trigger presses, and then every time before I shoot a stage, I'll have already shot that stage in my mind a dozen times. So that's nothing new. I'll know exactly what I need to do when I need to do it. Take care, and we'll see you on the range.